everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is about brows. I personally love brows. I think they can make or break a look to be completely honest. There are crazy brow styles out there but one that has been super popular now for two plus years I believe are very fluffy, feathery but also natural looking brows. I feel like a lot of people have like moved on, moved past the crazy pomade dark eyebrows and I personally used to use pomades but I have found like a routine that just matches me and suits me and my brows just so much better and this routine only takes two steps. It's just super easy to do. If you want to know more about my brows, how I do them and some tips that I have kind of collected throughout the years, please keep watching. I naturally, as you can see, I have I would say pretty full eyebrows, dark and especially like the middle and form part is pretty prominent. Where I have the most issues is definitely the tail. The tails of my brow are quite thin and they are a little bit more sparse. When I don't wear any makeup, I never do my brows because they overpower my face very very quickly. When I am wearing a full face like I am right now, I do have to do my brows because then the contrast is just too big and it would look super weird. As you can tell, I think it looks very weird without my brows done. Well, I was always kind of blessed with my brows. It's funny because in like middle school, I was always made fun of and and bullied for having very thick eyebrows that also eventually grew together in the middle not like hardcore but you could see that it was a little bit more dark in the middle I was just always made fun of for having thick brows uh, very bushy brows and now it's like all everyone wants so so right now I feel like I lack some shape here in the back and it just kind of like goes straight down like this as well as here I don't fill in my brows completely to make them look like one solid color and that is one of the things I believe makes your brows look very feathery and fluffy. Another tip I believe really does a difference is that the front part of the brow that you don't actually trim the hairs with a scissor. When you trim them it'll give you a very boxy effect. From close up it'll look pretty that is one thing I've noticed like close up I think it looks so so pretty but from far away I realize I don't like that why it looks so nice and feathery is that once you kind of brush your hairs up and you add your either soap brow or your gel your eyebrow gel these brows will look just so so like feathery because they naturally thin out at the top when you cut them with scissors obviously they're going to look thicker more stompy and they're not going to look as wispy which is why I would recommend you to not cut the front portion if you really need to try to kind of like point cut almost like you would point cut your hair and my last tip is that when you're tweezing your eyebrows don't try to over tweeze them at the top. Now this is personal preference if you like more of a arched brow, straighter brow, um, rounded brow. It really depends on what you like. I like the natural arch my eyebrows have. They're not like crazy arched, they're not like crazy straight. I think they just have like a natural curvature to them. I don't try to change my brows, I go with the shape of them which means I only fill in sparse areas and I don't change like the angles of my brow. So when you are tweezing your eyebrows, I think one of the biggest reasons that eyebrows can look very thin and just like in a weird shape is when you remove too much at the top. If anything, remove from the bottom, it'll give you a lifted effect. Now that we rambled so, so much, let's actually get into this brow tutorial. Good news, I only do two steps to do my brows and it really doesn't take me a long time, so let's go. So the first thing I like to use is my Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Pencil. It comes with a spoolie and the other side is obviously the brow product. It is a angled kind of tip. I absolutely adore this pencil because it's not too pigmented. It's more of a sheer hard formula, which I think for me works the very best because my brows just never look overdone and you can get this on Yestel for under three bucks. If anything, a little bit above three, but it's under five. All I do is first of all kind of brush through. 
I kind of brush them upwards and a little bit to the back just so the hair isn't going crazy everywhere. After that what I'm going to be doing is I usually start like right in the middle here and I just do very light, light strokes, like nothing crazy. And then I just kind of start to fill in this outer part because, again, it's a little bit more sparse. Now, in between, I like to also brush because this will ensure the color is like distributed evenly in our brows and it just makes it a lot easier. I prefer this formula that isn't too pigmented because my brows are naturally pretty dark and if I go in with a product that is too pigmented, I'll have sharpie brows in like no time and I'm really not looking to get sharpie brows. This is what I would do to my brow to fill it in. As you saw, I did not touch the inner part. I barely ever do because I think that just makes it look very unnatural very quickly, on myself at least. What really makes the brows look super feathery and fluffy is then when you do, for instance, soap brows or you use a brow mascara. Today I'm going to be using my Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. I also really, really enjoyed the Essence one. It's the Make Me Brow in the shade Brownie Brows, I believe. <laughs> but this one is in the shade Dark Brown and I really like this one because it really makes your brows stay up and it doesn't look like soap brows where you have residue. The brush is pretty interesting, but it's actually very, very nice when you have thick brows, really kind of combs through them. I start at the front, and this is where I said that it's so important that you don't cut the front part. See how feathery that automatically looks? Even if you have thin brows, it'll do such a difference. In the back, I kind of just comb up but also down so they're not completely like flying crazy everywhere. This is what I mean where it looks translucent. You can see that it's hair, you can see the skin underneath, it's not one like solid color and this is I think what makes it the prettiest. With this product what I've also noticed I can do two coats of this without it looking weird. It doesn't feel hairsprayed down, it does not feel uncomfortable at all. What you can also do is kind of like brush the hair to the front. Again, will make your brows look very, very fluffy. This is my super quick and easy routine. Just make sure you don't over pluck your eyebrows. Maybe try to embrace your natural shape. It will always fit your face the best. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little rundown on my two-step eyebrow routine. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!